Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to model a 3D scene using a photograph. In the previous video, I showed you how to calibrate a camera, um, and in this one, we're going to actually model the scene. All right, so I have imported my camera from FSpy, and I've got it into the Blender scene with the default cube. And now I'm going to basically start modeling this scene based on the camera calibration. So to begin with, I'm just going to delete the default cube. And then I'm going to add a plane using Shift A and plane. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit to this view. Go into edit mode, scale that plane up a bit. Then I'm going to take these vertices, extrude them along the x-axis. And I'm going to take these vertices, extrude them along the x-axis by about say, 8 meters. Uh, extrude again along the x-axis by 8 meters. I'm going to take this whole row of verts and I select those by double clicking. Um, and I'm going to extrude those on the y-axis towards the wall here. Now the geometry is starting to cover the image, so I'm going to select my camera and I'm going to change the image display to in front as opposed to behind. And that way we'll be able to see the we'll be able to see the image at the same time as the geometry. I'm just going to move those vertices back to there again. Um, I'm going to double click on this edge now and just extrude right to the edge of the platform here. Um, and then I'm going to press E to extrude again and then Z to constrain the extrusion and I'm going to extrude downwards by one meter and then I'm going to extrude again on the Y axis right into the edge of the train tracks here and that's going to give me the sort of width of the rail, the bed for the rails and so I'm going to double click and select this edge loop and I'm going to move it so that it's in line with this corner here and a great way to move an edge loop is just to press G and then G again that will slide the vertices as an edge loop as a whole and then you can press shift to constrain the movement as well and then I'm going to push this one I'm going to push this edge loop back so that it matches the back end whoops back end of the bridge here so GG and then hold down shift to do fine tuning so now we know that this face is the thickness of the bridge okay so now I'm going to uh, extrude out further here on the y-axis I'm going to go out three meters and then I'm going to take this face and I'm going to extrude it on the z-axis that looks pretty nice that gives me the right hand wall of the bridge and then next I'm going to just take this edge along here I'm going to uh, duplicate it using shift D and then I'm going to press S to scale it and I'm just going to scale it so that it's the width of this metal this, uh, this uh, metal bridge bit that's on top and then I'm going to extrude that along the Z axis to make a face so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just making this face um, and then I'm going to go into face select mode and extrude that all the way across the length of the bridge um, and then I'm going to snap by pressing shift tab to enable snaps I'm going to snap it to the to the opposite side so that we've got that bridge going all the way across and then I'm going to extrude it an extra three meters I'm going to do the same on this side as well I'm going to extrude this by three meters so we've got the bridge sitting on top of the wall then I'm going to take this edge here um, extrude this out by three meters again and then select the face that I've created and then I want to extrude that to the same height as this wall on the other side although I think actually it goes higher so maybe I just want to extrude it as high as it can go take that up to there there's this other box thing on top and I'm gonna recreate that just by duplicating this plane that's on top of the on top of the on top of the metal section of the bridge. So I'm gonna press Shift D, move that on the Z axis, and then I'm just gonna pull the edge here back so that it lines up. And then I'm just gonna pull this edge. Actually I'm gonna leave that where it is. And then I'm just gonna extrude this upwards. And I'm gonna give that about three meters of height. So we've got this kind of, so I just did there is I just duplicated, duplicated this face, scaled it down and then raised it up a little bit to make that little box, boxy bit on top. Um, now let's carry on with the platform, extend it a little bit further. So I've just double clicked here to select the edge loop at the end. I'm going to extrude that on the, on the X axis by eight meters. And you can see that it's starting to go off out of line with the edge of the platform. That's because the track is curving around. So I'm just going to grab that on the Y axis shift it very slightly and then extrude it again and on the x-axis with another five uh, sorry another seven yeah another seven meters 
and then I'm going to grab that on the y-axis again and just match the curve of the platform as it goes out into the distance there and then I'm going to quickly model this little bank here so I'm just going to select these edges extrude them on the y-axis by 1.5 meters and then pull them up by uh, another 1.5 maybe 1.3 meters and then just try and simulate that fence as well so I just extrude up another 1.5 meters and then I should have something resembling that bit of detail there. And then this section here, I'm just going to press, select that edge and press V to separate the geometry from the cube on the side. I'm going to press V and then I'm just going to right click to cancel the operation. But now it's loose. And I'm going to do the same for here as well because this, if I move this edge, you can see it's connected. I'm just going to press V just to rip it and then right click to cancel the operation. So now we should have like quite a nice piece of geometry that is indicative of the photograph. So I'm just gonna go to the view display here and turn on cavity shading just so I can see a little bit more detail. I could also turn on ambient occlusion if I was an EV, but I don't think I need to worry about that. Yeah, so that looks like, that looks pretty good as a basis for our model.